Lock up Max Protect Pat Sale with this easy defensive setup. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about a defensive strategy I'm going to be using uh, to try to lock up um, one of the more popular plays in the game, and it's Pat Sale. Uh, this is a mass protect uh, def uh, offensive scheme, and it's extremely difficult to stop uh, because the route combinations, and if you're playing against someone that's using a team like uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, you can get yourself in some serious trouble. So I found a defense that can lock it up, but it doesn't lock it up when the play breaks down. So in other words, once everybody has run the routes uh, and there might be someone who's doing a um, playmaker in their players, it's of course is going to break down. But if you got an opponent that runs this and gets is someone who does quick releases, gets rid of the ball really quick, this is going to basically lock it down uh, and you could potentially get some block sheds and go ahead and get yourself a sack. So we're going to be ro rolling out of the nickel defense. And the defense we're going to be using for this is going to be the uh, LB Cross 3. The LB Cross 3. Now, a lot of people look at Pat Sale and go, oh my God, you never want to use cover 3 because you're going to get beat up top. But the way I'm going to run this defense is going to be a little bit differently. I'm going to go ahead and run it where uh, basically I'm going to go over the top coverage and try to protect against a big a bomb. So the, basically what I'm going to do with this particular defense is I'm going to do the fouling. But I want to show you the offense set and basically what uh, what, what opponents do. So what they'll do is they're going to max protect. Uh, they're going to go ahead and take uh, their uh, outside wide receiver, which is Watkins, and actually put him on a drag route. And then they're going to go ahead and take uh, Hill and streak him up or fade him up. One of those two types of situations. And then they're going to motion this guy out and snap the ball before he motions. So, so we're going to come back to this and we'll show you how this defense is going to lock it up. So I've got a flat, a deep, a flat on the back end side. I got to worry about. And then I got a deep crossing route, and then I've got a, a, a streak route by Hill, which causes a dilemma, especially when you're playing against a team that is elite like this. So this is what we're going to do with this defense. First and foremost, I'm going to back everybody up. I'm going to take my defensive line. I'm going to shift them off to the left, uh, and then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my. Uh, right of screen uh, a linebacker and put him in a, into a, a, a man coverage. So I'm going to double, double tap the right bumper. I'm going to select uh, Eddie Jackson, who I actually put in position over there. I'm going to put him on uh, this this guy right here. I'm going to double tap the right bumper and then select uh, Rokon Smith. And we're going to go ahead and select him onto uh, Con Connolly. Now, the final thing is I'm going to use her, this guy right here. This is going to be the guy that I'm going to use her. And really my responsibility, if, if I got someone spamming this, is I'm not worried about this drag route. This drag route is just going to be basically covered up unless he throws the ball immediately. Other than that, it's just going to be blanketed. There's, he's not going to have anywhere to go with the drag route. So all I have to do is i got to watch the streak route. And then I'm going to watch the crosser with Connolly. But even though I've got these guys manned up, I should be okay. So let's go ahead and use her, these guys right here. I'm going to motion the guy over and motion him up. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, take that guy out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut off right here in this type of situation. So as you can see right now, basically the quarterback has nowhere to go with the ball. It's pretty much locked up. He's probably going to have to take off with uh, with uh, with a run in that type of situation because this, this play just gets completely locked up on it. So let me show it to you in instant replay and show you basically what I'm doing. My first read, is, when I'm using my guys, I'm going, to, I'm going to make sure I follow this guy and take away that streak route. Now I do over the top coverage because you got 99 speed. I do not want to get beat deep uh, by this 99 speed. So you can see I've got a, a strong defensive back on the backhand side. I've got this guy over the top. He is so many yards off. Look how many yards off he's off the ball. So he is basically 20 yards off the ball uh, on the back. He's not going to get burnt, burnt deep. And I, I think I've got a fairly fast defensive player right here with, with 93 speed, which is Amos. So he's not going to get beat deep. Um, and even if he is, he's still going to make a play. I've also got this guy who's going to make a play too for this but he peels off uh, for the crossing round he has to go ahead and peel off for that so let's watch the underneath route this route is one of those routes that the guy's going to check down to so what's going to happen is when this route comes across the middle i've got a spy right here and i've also got this guy manned up 
and then I've also got this guy coming down into a flat. So he's going to be passing into basically uh, two defenders right there. He might pick up some yards, but he's going to get he's going to get basically labeled uh, for nothing. So most people want to go ahead, take this pass, hit it right here where there's three guys in the area and get rid of that ball as quickly as possible, but there's really nothing going to be there for him. So where's the next money route right here? So I'm going to go ahead, follow this guy right here, and then as soon as the crossing route comes over, I'm just going to peel off and be confident that this one guy is going to go ahead and make a play for me. This is one defender that's going to be in limbo. He's going to he's, he's going to be out there. I, I could put him on a position, but you know I can put him somewhere, but it doesn't really matter uh, because I want to have just some kind of a cover, a, 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 a deep shell just in case these two guys miss it. I've got another guy, another defender is going to come across the middle. So I'm over here with these guys. I'm looking for this and this guy just stops dead uh, and I'm feeling pretty good about it so I've got over the top help uh, on both sides there's no way he's gonna be able to go and complete that big ball uh, without getting lucky with the animation so we're gonna go ahead and set this up again I'm gonna base a line shift my defensive line off to the left I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make my adjustments really quick I'm gonna push up and this is how it's gonna be And we're going to go from there with the defense. I'm going to show you how if I try to force the ball in, it's not going to really work for me. So let's go ahead and see if we can hit Hill for a, a one-play touchdown. So I've got over-the-top coverage right there. He did catch it, but look at it. I've got three guys in the area right there. Three guys. So I'll, I'll take those odds. I, I will definitely take those odds uh, for that type of situation, even though Hill caught it. And we're going to watch this play right here. And I've got a, you know players in the area to go ahead and make plays right there. Usually I can, I can strip off on that. So this play does lock it up. You know what I mean? It's going to take everything away. So if he threw the ball early, he's going to go right into basically a double team. If he waits, once again, um, basically he's throwing into a double team. So that, that flat route is completely dead. I'm going to be using this guy, so I can't do this and make throws at the same time. But you can see I'm chasing after him, and then as soon as as soon as soon um, he gets you know 40 yards out, I'm going to peel down and help on the double team on this, this route right here because this is a money route right here. But you can see because I've got a linebacker in that area that we've got some speed, he's covering one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to be there to make a play. And because I've got a better defensive back on this back side over here, He's going to go ahead and, and make a play for me on the back end side. So this is going to be a defense that I'm going to run into. Uh, I'm going to be probably playing some people that are going to be using this pat sale. Uh, and this is definitely going to be a play that I'm going to go ahead and use uh, just to go ahead and, and keep my opponent on it. So once again, guys, if you do like these type of tips, make sure you hit the like button. And I'll be rolling out some more uh, defensive tips coming up soon. Until next time.